Welcome back, everyone. It is warm outside right now. Some temperatures are currently in the 70s in most spots, and these warm temperatures are going to be sticking around for at least a couple more days. It's also been breezy today along the Rocky Mountain front and out to the I-15 corridor with sustained wind speeds between 10 and 25 miles per hour. The further east of I-15 you go, that's where the wind has been lighter today with sustained wind speeds currently just between 3 and 8 miles per hour. On the Great Falls Clinic ICAN, we have had sunny skies and dry conditions throughout the day today, and it has been a bit hazy in the Great Falls area today as well. The worst of the haze today has been in the southern half of Montana. That's where the air quality is currently in the moderate category in a lot of locations, and it's currently unhealthy for sensitive groups in Hamilton. We also have moderate air quality in the Great Falls area. There's an air quality alert in effect for most of the southwestern Montana, including Lewis and Clark County and the Helena area through at least 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. As the air quality at times is at least going to be unhealthy for sensitive groups. As we go through tonight in north central Montana, it will continue to be a bit hazy with the air quality in the moderate or good category in most spots. In the southern half of Montana, that's where it will be pretty hazy overnight tonight with some areas of smoke around. The air quality at times may be unhealthy for sensitive groups. As we go through tomorrow, the worst of the haze and smoke will continue to be in the southern half of Montana, but the haze and smoke will increase some as we go through tomorrow in north central Montana. So it will become hazier as the day goes on. The air quality will deteriorate a little bit as the day goes on as well, with a lot of locations seeing moderate air quality as we get into tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. Most of this haze and smoke is coming from fires burning in Idaho, but some of the smoke from fires burning in southwestern Montana is also contributing to this haze and smoke that we are dealing with. Then as we go through tomorrow night, we'll continue to have hazy and smoky skies, especially in southern Montana. And then widespread haze and areas of smoke are expected on Wednesday as well, but then a cold front should bring some cleaner air into our area as we head into the end of the work week. We have had sunny skies and dry conditions throughout the day today, and that's because an upper level ridge is currently in control of our weather. This upper level ridge will remain in control of our weather through at least Wednesday, which means more sunshine and more warm temperatures are forecasted. This evening and tonight, clear skies and dry conditions for tomorrow. Similar weather to today with a lot of sunshine and dry conditions throughout the entire state. However, some clouds will start to work their way into the western half of Montana as we get into tomorrow evening. Increasing clouds in western Montana tomorrow night. And then as we head into Wednesday, we are going to have partly to mostly sunny skies throughout the day with the cloud cover increasing as the day goes on as that cold front begins to approach our area. It will continue to remain dry, though, even with all that cloud cover around. We'll be breezy tonight along the Rocky Mountain front. For the rest of us, just a light breeze overnight. And then as we head into tomorrow, gusty winds are expected along the Rocky Mountain front. Could see some gusts up to 50 miles per hour at times. East of the Rocky Mountain front, it will be breezy in some areas tomorrow. Sustained wind speeds generally between 10 and 20 miles per hour. Tonight, low temperatures are going to be in the upper 30s and low to mid 40s in most spots, so a cool night. Tomorrow and Wednesday, it will continue to be warm with high temperatures topping out in the mid to upper 70s and low to mid 80s. A cold front passes through Wednesday night and that will bring cooler temperatures to our area for Thursday and Friday with highs back in the 60s and the lower 70s. And it will be partly to mostly cloudy and mainly dry on those two days. And then lots of sunshine this weekend and early next week with temperatures warming back up to around 80 degrees by Monday.